Good morning everyone, welcome back, thank you for being here with me today. I am Lou of Lou G's Angelic Connections and this is today's oracle message. So as always I'm just going to be pulling one oracle card for you, giving you the meaning. Obviously, um, hopefully it will give you some guidance for today, give you something to think about and help you along your path. So I have been drawn today to the Divine Feminine Deck. And I'm going to call in my angels, guides, keepers of the light. Please guide me at this time. What one message above all messages is in the highest good of us all to receive today? What one message above all messages do we need to receive as a collective at this point in time? Okay, so let's have a look what we've got. Okay, just one message, please. There we go. We have Lala, the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. So this is just reminding you to watch your words. The law of attraction always at work, never stops. What you are putting out into the universe is what you are going to draw back to yourself. OK, so let's have a look what message we have from Lala today. We have page 100. There we go. <laughs> so I'll hold it there so you can draw in the energies of Lala as I draw, as I speak the words from the book. Okay, let's just get that focused. Lala, the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. Who is she? Lala embodies the potency and power of our words to create our own reality. Lala, Laded, or, L or Laleshwari, was a Kashmiri mystic and poet who lived in the 14th century. She was married at the age of 12, but was extremely unhappy as a wife. She left her home at the age of 24 to take Sanyasi, renunciation. She became a... A Shaivite, a devotee of Shiva. Lala walked the streets naked, dancing and reciting her love poems to the divine. She wore only the markings of her devotion to Shiva on her forehead. Lala is the creator of a mystical form of poetry called Vakes, which means speech or voice. The verses of poetry that she spoke are considered the earliest compositions in the Kashmiri language. Her words reflect the spiritual truth of non-duality that she realised as a mystic. Above, temple, and below, idol, are one. With her poetry, she found the unity in all things and the freedom that follows. I, Lala, enter through the door of the garden of my mind and saw Shiva and Shakti un united into one. O oh joy! There I became immersed in the lake of nectar and died even while I was still alive. What can death do to me now? The Kashmiri language is filled with her sayings. She is known as a prophetess, a saint, or even an avatar. Although illiterate, she used the inherent power of her, of her every word to transcend duality and enter a state of blissful union with the divine. When your soul selects her cards, words have the power to shift our reality or to continue to reinforce it. Louise Hay, founder of Hay House, turned to me during a dinner party looked me right in the eyes and declared, every word you say is an affirmation. This is perhaps one of the most crucial spiritual lessons to remember. If you are not separate from the soul and if the soul is not separate from the divine, 
then we have the power to co-create our life. Lala is the invitation to play, to pay close attention to each word we say to ourselves within and to the words we say about ourselves to the people we love. She is the acknowledgement of the soul that our every sentence is a prayer. If we want more love, more light, more of that joy and freedom that expands our capacity to be present in the world, then, then Lala reminds us that we can become the author of our own reality right now. We can speak our desires into being. Lala is the reminder that we are so powerful that changing the words we use to describe ourselves can change the traje trajectory of our lives. We can choose to focus our attention on each I am statement we say, and we can infuse our lives with the nectar that comes when we act on the truth that we are not separate from the divine. What are the most powerful words for me to use frequently right now? Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. OK, so just watch what you are saying to yourself. Watch what you are projecting out into the universe. What are you what messages are you sending to the divine? Because it will just automatically come back. This is also a sign to start working with affirmations. If you if you've not been working with them, if you've never worked with them before or you have just sort of like gone into a lapse of not using them. Now's the time to get back to using the affirmations. YouTube is absolutely full of meditations um, with lots of affirmations in them. There are so many resources for affirmations everywhere. Um, Facebook, um, Google, wherever you feel comfortable. Um, Pinterest has just popped into my mind as well. It's time to start working with affirmations i am actually being drawn to pull a card from Le uh, louise hayes deck power thought cards okay what message what affirmation are we being asked to work with today okay let's see I was drawn to these for a reason. I always trust my gut. Three. Right, we have three. So, for some of you, it is career re related. It says, I now create a wonderful new job. The back of it says, I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position. Using my creative talents and abilities for and with people I love in a wonderful location and earning good money. Okay. Another is I am peace. Divine peace and harmony surround me and dwell in me. I feel tolerance, compassion and love for all people, myself included. And lastly, we have I accept my uniqueness. There is no competition and no comparison, for we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. OK, so for some of you, those will hit deep. They will be meaningful to you. If you are feeling them, remember them, write them down, put them on post notes on your mirror, um, on your kitchen cupboards, on your fridge, wherever you feel inclined to. But today, get back to using those affirmations. Watch the words that you're using about yourself. Be positive and create the reality that you want in your life. OK, so take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.